Okay, we're all in. Okay. Um, hi, my name is uh, Glenn Clinton. I am the writer and director of Trembling Terror in High Gear. Uh, I came up with the idea because I kind of wanted to do kind of a Twilight Zone short story horror kind of comedy. I think after we filmed uh, in High Sight, it was a bit serious and uh, not exactly like a fun watch where I was fancy doing something totally different. So I'm probably quite fond of short stories and horror comedy, so I kind of quite like the idea of just doing uh, a horror film all set in kind of one location because we're all trapped in a car. And I just wrote it with all the same overall Matt and Sean in mind, so I kind of wrote the characters based on the graduated versions of Sean and Matt, etc. And that's how it came about. I just wanted to do something kind of quite fun, uh, slightly silly, but elements of uh, spookiness and creepiness, but hopefully that's um, sort of uh, came off quite well, hopefully. This is the um, kind of we've finished filming today, which is kind of like the main part of the film. And it's gone very well. We, had, we filmed a couple of months ago and it went kind of a bit of a disaster. It wasn't very well planned and the location wasn't very good. So this time I think we've actually got something really special. So I'm looking forward to actually watching the finished product. I suppose it's, just, it's, a, it's a, um, a horror comedy basically. Is, is what it is. I just wanted to make something totally the polar opposite in hindsight, which was a serious drama with important issues. And I just wanted to make something fun and move less weeks. Uh, plan for the future? I'm not actually sure now. I did have a few ideas for some uh, other films, but um, I haven't actually wrote anything down. I still want to make this film called Clive is the Antichrist, which is I'm still working on. and. Uh, uh, one about someone who's obs self-obsessed with uh, taking selfie pictures, which is kind of a Dorian Gray uh, kind of tale, but not a lot at the minute. Um, we've got a few ideas, but I haven't got anything set in stone at the moment. Some kind of last-minute changes, which I didn't know how they would come, like Matt wanted to uh, suddenly change the accent twice. It, <laughs> it sort of from his normal accent to an American to a, a crazy Welshman. And the suddenly, and I actually admit I was quite. I didn't really think the Welsh bit would actually come off. That's and bullshit! You knew it would be good. <laughs> it actually is From the minute I told you, you knew that. And it's really good. And um, obviously, he, he kept it quiet that he dyed his hair for the film. I like to say that that is real colour. Uh, I don't know if he's going grey or his vanity thing, but he, he didn't even consult me, and he just turned up with a different colour hair one day. You want to see what colour my pubes are? We'll cut that out. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's good fun. Uh, Sean was really good then. I was sure a bit nervous, but we had our ways of hiding the script so you can remember the dialogue. And then we suddenly had all the improvisation bits and kind of worked out a lot better. So Sean, didn't have, Sean and Matt didn't have to keep the script, kind of keep the uh, essence of it. And it, it actually the, Sean remembered the dialogue better. And then a raft at the last minute, Peckham does the clown, which is really good. And he knows all the works of the camera and cinematography, even though I filmed it. We've had to know all the um, technical parts of the camera, just have to be quite a lot, so yeah, very well. Uh, yeah. Well, the day was, was great today, um, I think. It's been very, really productive for a change. Uh, as to how I become uh, the clown, uh, that was actually quite, uh, well, un un unanticipated because. Uh, it was someone else supposed to be playing it. Turned out that person can't do it, and I think I've been told that I'm going to be the clown uh, two days before we we were shooting. So it's yeah. So it's a bit like um, turning up on one of Matt's projects with no script, really, kind of thing. <laughs> Is it similar? Script. Yeah. What script? So what, what was it like having a script in this production? Oh, uh, that's much more reassuring. At least we we know more or less what we're doing and where we're standing. Um, yeah, working with script is much better. Good. So, as a director, do you think it was me or Matt is actually a better director now? <laughs> I mean... Well... <laughs> I think I'm, <laughs> I'm getting here on the slipper. <laughs> slippery surface. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll skip, we'll skip, we'll yeah. skip that one, though. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to skip on You're that one. in between a rock and an hard place there, mate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, I've... 
obviously I'm the director and I think you did a great job and you came up with, you, obviously you know all the technical aspects of the camera and you came up with some really good ideas of how to use the camera, there's quite a few shots on the first filming day who said don't do that Glenn because it's too light or it's too dark and they, I took all them on board and I think it went really really well and obviously you was kind of throwing yourself into the clown character like hanging on the side of the car which turned out, which is never in the script, but turned out really really well so thank, thank you. you for that Ref. I'm still learning myself. No, so um, so what, do you have any projects uh, online in the future? Uh, yeah, there is a, a few. In the matter of fact, the next one, uh, I'm going to be a killer again. Oh, so it could be kind of a typecast kind of yeah, thing. Yeah. You could, you could be the new Mark Strong of uh, Hunnell. To be oh. honest, I think the next three projects I'm, I'm going to be quite a, a brutal person. Right, so kind of Alan Rickman, cross with Mark Strong, cross yeah. with... Yeah, sounds good. Uh, I'm actually my stick to yeah, you've got the um, scary kind of accent as well, which is yeah. really good. Well, thank you very much, Ref. Thank you very much. Do you know how embarrassing that fast looks on this handle? So, did you enjoy filming? No. <laughs> I could have had a line. At least it's honest. I didn't even want to be here today. I just wanted to have a nice nap. Nice bed sleep. <laughs> I think he means genuinely. Oh, right, oh, right. I thought it was just pulling me leg you, are, you, are you going to add some? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to go from there. I'm just going to go... Um, yeah, alright. Yeah, alright. <laughs> all right. Raph, do you have any questions for Sean? There you go, that's my interview done. Goodbye, youngster. <laughs> See you on the next party. <laughs> Hi, Matt. I'm good, thank you. So, How are you? I'm fine. How are you doing today? I'm you doing, all good? I'm good. You look good. Thanks. You're very welcome. Also, your fans will want to know the hair. My fans? The hair. It's for the fans. It's, um, it's for the fans, I'd say. No. No, it's definitely for the fans. Did you enjoy Female filming fans. today? Female fans? <laughs> what for the male fans? Are you kind of a gay icon now? Um, I'm trying to be. I don't really... I'm trying to go for the whole... You know what's... You know what doesn't have a... Have a sex idol? Transvestites. So... Transvestites and um, those... Ugh, drag those queens. people that aren't quite human. They haven't got... Lady boys. Sex. Well, they're animals. Well, no, they're, they're human. Are any animals, you know, an animal sex object? What man. would that be? Okay. Uh, squirrel lover. Squirrel lover. <laughs> yeah. Squirrel fun. So, so I, want that, I want that written down. Yeah. Squirrel, so, fun, squirrel lover. That's my. It's the title of my next film. Funnily squirrel lover. Squirrel lover. So, I'll, I'll I'll write that no. down. Uh, okay. yeah. <laughs> so um, you're basically appealing to the um, Eddie Izzard people out there, the fans. You're kind of like. Have you ever seen Spider Man? Yes. You know Which how you one? get someone like Doc Ock? Yes. It's more for that kind of range of people. So <laughs> the people that aren't quite happy in themselves, so they, you know, so people genetically like modify them. They're the people I'm, I'm trying to reach out Genetically modified. So basically they don't have anybody to speak out for them. They don't. That's I think true. That's, I think that's so supervillains from DC and Marvel, you're, you're their spokesman. Yeah. Huge fan base. Well, one of them. Huge I'm fan one base. One they, have, one they have many. They have many. But I'll, I'll, be, I'll, I'll stick with them. Okay. Yeah, well, Stanley's um, superhumans, then that's what you need to do. Oh, they're all my mates. I know all of them. We go way back. We go way back. As for the hair, sorry, I'm, uh, I'll go back to the original question. Um, on, I don't know if anybody else has mentioned this yet, but we tried to make this film a few months ago, to no, well, about a year ago, to no avail. Best customer. Um, we, we, had a, we had a lot of problems, and it was watching the footage back from that that I'd had my hair roughly this colour during that time. And I was always struck by how awesome the colour of the hair looked in the sun. So I was like, you know what? I had a film, I went through a film where I had to wear a fucking wig. So that's uh, my time up, see you later. <laughs> so, no, 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 have, after uh, the, the, obviously, the, uh, obviously we don't really ask necessarily want to rain on your parade there, Matt, but uh, what's your opinion that the film might be black and white? Um, I'd, I'd be disgusted. 
I'd be absolutely heartbroken. Is that film going to be in black and white? Is it possible? Ciao, Bella. What's to say these interviews won't be in black and white? Let's say Finny, man. So, um, well, I, I had, okay, not English. I had a really good time. Cool. Would you return for the sequel? No. No, I, I think now, I think after this film, my agent can start looking for, you know, more mainstream kind of, the next Bruce Willis film. Uh, I think. Like Red 3. I mean, after all, that's what the Four, director Glenn told me that, that would happen if I did this film, actually. He said that it would lead to lead to uh, stardom. I did. So, and it doesn't even require porn. I mean, who doesn't want to take that job? Well, Sean has already started, as I'm told. We had a bit of fun time earlier. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the scene will be in 3D. Yeah. Um, a sequel. <laughs> I can't. I can't imagine how a sequel would would be. What would a sequel be about? I turn into class. See, see, see. I have to look at it from from Jack's perspective. So, what would be? What would Jack want to do? What I don't would think Jack... Jack would want to be in another film where he's been Yeah, that, that like sounds like clown. Jodie Foster when she didn't want to be in Hannibal and said I don't like the script and didn't turn up. So, Raph is... oh, See, I'm not saying that I'm not going to like the script. I'm just saying I'm not going to turn up. No, 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 no. I don't know. What would what would it be? What could you envision in a sequel? Well, it's all going to happen on a skateboard this time. Can have a what? Sir? Be on a skateboard. A skateboard? Yeah. Can it be on a horse? <laughs> horse? Can it be? I don't know. on a horse. Two men sitting on back to back on a horse could get the wrong idea. We could do like a Young Guns parody. We could. With a clown. Well, maybe the clown gets his own spin off. Jack, Jack the Lad. I could be Jack the Lad! <laughs> be like Billy the Kid, but cooler. So, Sean, what was your favourite moment of the film? Was it the Mint Imperials? No, drinking the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's why it's with me at all times. Have you got any projects you're working on, Sean? Uh, yeah, um, I'm working on Pornhub. I'm on there. What? I'm on Pornhub. Pornhub? Yeah. Okay. I'm on there. I've got a couple of videos in the making now. I've got many to work. It's a bit dirty. Because because we're taking it that one step further, they don't know what questions to ask. You can see Glenn really trying to think. I'm going to stick a spanner in this. <laughs> I'm going to make them look really stupid yeah, now. On I camera. am. I am struggling actually. Raf, do you have any questions? Any kind of witty comebacks? I'm resigned. Resigned. I'm resigned. Now that's my official time. <laughs> It doesn't look like you're going to in on, on the toilet on the back of that car, though, Sean. Uh, no, that's his natural smell. Okay. So besides that, it was a good filming day. Everything went well. Like buckets bent now. Did he? No. no. <laughs> um, just a serious note. But not from me. I'll make you famous. No, uh, really good, really good experience doing the filming. We had a few problems here and there uh, in regards to the filming, but everything went fine. Everything went well. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing. Well, I'm going to see it first before all of you. Ah, but, so. but, but, but he's got to get the footage we had of him. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. You, you technically you haven't finished the film. Yeah. So you've just finished our part. So. <laughs> And hopefully we'll have a I will, I'm busy I will, on Monday, so. Yeah, I don't know what we're gonna say now. Oh I would like to actually yes, I will actually hopefully join you in the editing process if that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh it's like a major yeah, studios now just taking the control off the director and just editing it the way they want it. Yeah. So no, all, that's fine. all yeah, Sean's yeah. porno bits are added into the film. Yeah, we only see it. What I can do is I can put all the clips together. 
like as a rough cut, yep. then I'll send it to you and then you can just decide what you want. Yep, and that's then send me a list. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. That's the way we rock and roll, kids. It is, we do. Rock and roll on and party Remember, every day. Any problems in life, just flip on the finger. It works all the time. What? It does. Because Sean is What are you doing, Sean? Why do you look like the old man from Steptoe and Son? <laughs> that's, not, that's not very nice. That's, come on, let's leave. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> Fuck this. Turn off that camera! Turn it off! <laughs>